What an extraordinary opportunity I have today to meet with an even more extraordinary man. My name is Clint Jordan, your host of American Dream TV, and today we're going to meet with Jay Chimino, an icon in the community, uh, a true legend, and a true giver of the heart. Sir, thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Clint. Thank I appreciate you it. You have an amazing, amazing car collection. Well, One of them. Thank you. Which one is your favorite? They're all my favorites. This is what the Gay Roadster here. And for years, that was my favorite car. That's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you were in the service, weren't you, sir? I was in the Marine Corps, yes. Awesome. Thank you again for your service. Thank, thank you for years. 22. You're very welcome. <laughs> um, and you're super successful in business. So what skills did you learn when you are in the Marine Corps that helped you kind of transition and be successful in business and life? Yeah. What I learned from the Marine Corps was discipline, loyalty, integrity. But, I, you know, I grew up in a family with five uncles in the Army and military. Uh, most of my life was met with mentors uh, who were in the military. As a matter of fact, Phil Long himself was a decorated war hero. Yeah. And, uh, and I learned so much from him, too. Reading through your bios and, and, and talking to some of the people that are very close to you, you are one of the more amazing <laughs> men that I've ever um, come across. How, how do you find, like, how do you wake up? What still drives you? You know, what are your passions in life right now to, to make you keep waking up and just giving more? Well, first of all, my first passion is cars. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <right clear. laughs> I have another passion that is how people, our mission is to help us become the best we can be and help others to become the best they can be. I love that. And that starts with us and our employees and then our customers. What about with Mount Carmel? That has really needed more help than they were getting. Especially, especially when they got out of the service, they had no place to go. Yeah. So our my our mission, and I got with Bob, Bob McLaughlin. Bob, would you come? Come on in, Bob. Hey. <laughs> and this is the most important guy right here, right here. How are you? And I asked him one simple question. <laughs> and what was that, Colonel? Uh, what are you going to do when you grow up? <laughs> so interestingly enough, in uh, December of 13, when I was home on leave. Um, he again ordered me to go to lunch, and we met at his favorite restaurant, Edelweiss, Great. and uh, and that's when he kind of laid it down to me. Hey, are you in? Or are you out? <laughs> you said, got one. You, you got one choice. That's so, not even yeah, two choices. So that's one. He shook my hand and he said, "Are we in?" And I said, "Absolutely." So I retired that year, and in 2014 we started. Um, the process of building the Veterans Center here in Colorado Springs. That's very cool. So I've been a, a member, if you will. I've used the services there for, for two years for myself. So how many how many veterans come through your doors a year? Do you know? Like hundreds of thousands? Were so so last year, just um, just in in uh, people through the door to get services, do events, fifty two thousand. It's kind of funny when I first showed Jay a picture. You know, I didn't. I just came out of the military. Show me the vision. So I drew a picture of the United States, and he said, "No, no let's, start, <laughs> let's, start, let's start in Colorado. Let's keep it local yeah, here, yeah. and then we'll tell, tell him about the money." Oh, yeah. But, so he said, um, "You know, of course, you know, I ma managed budgets, whether I was on deployed or whether I was the garrison commander, and I knew that uh, you know, money talks, BS walks, right. right?" So, so Jay's vision and everything he does is. Um, don't talk about money. It's all about serving people. The money will come. And that's what he said to me. And I was uh, crazy because I'm worried about the money. Yeah. But he was, he was absolutely right. He was right again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm riding the coach to victory. I love it. And then the future of like Mount Carmel, is there, are you guys pushing harder? What, what, what's next? You know, we're at the point right now that Jay said it's okay to, <laughs> to spread your wings. He, it's funny. He said, you need to clone yourself to, uh, to do this. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, what you guys do for like our community, especially you, sir? Um, I don't want to say thank you personally. Um, for what you do for the community, what you guys do for our, our military. Um, what Mount Carmel's done for me is amazing. We'll sit down thank and talk about it one day. Um, but thank you, sir, so much for thank allowing you. me into your life for at least a couple of minutes. Bob, I appreciate you, sir. We'll carry on over to Mount Carmel. I want to um, do some stuff up there as well. But yeah. thank you again, sir, for all you do. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. If you've got a small business that goes above and beyond, if you've got a special person that gives more than they take, or if you've got a house or a property that you think could be highlighted on the show, give me a call and let's see about getting them on there. Again, I'm Clint Jordan, your host of American Dream TV. This is me showing you about us. Until next time, Colorado Springs.